Crab Stuffed Lobster is our Christmas Eve meal and menu magazine this season. And even though it looks super elegant, it's really super simple. That's because we have three shortcuts to help you out. One is the lobster that's already cracked and split right. in half. And then we have crab cakes as the filling. Correct. And then we have a lobster bisque, Perfect yummy, sauce. as a sauce on top. And uh, do you show us how? Yeah, we, there's two components of this dish. I want to make the vegetable first. The good right. thing about this dish is they, both the side dish and the entree roast at the same temperature. So we're talking about 450 degree oven. Vegetables actually take a little bit more time than the seafood. So we're going to go on that Makes first. We've got two bunches of uh, asparagus okay. that we just cut into thirds. Uh, and what we're going to add to it is a little mushroom mix that we have here. That's a mix of, I Shiitake, think, baby, oyster. And baby bellas, you right? You got it. Okay. So we're just going <laughs> to put right. that right in to the bowl. Nice convenience right. item. A little right. variety and flavor there. Correct. And we're just going to season it with a little bit of basting oil. Our favorite. Okay. A couple tablespoons. Yep. And I want to season it with just a little bit of cracked black pepper. Okay. What we're going to do is just give that a quick toss. All right. And it's going to go right into our roasting pan. And like Excellent. I said, we've got our oven preheated to 450 degrees. Okay. What we want to do, we want to make sure we've got a nice even layer. That's really easy. So we get good color on our vegetables. And we go into the 450 degree oven. Uh -huh. It's going to take about 15 minutes to give these a start. Mm -hmm. And then after that, we're going to take them out and give them a little bit of a toss. Um, but now we're going to work on the lobsters, which is very, very simple. And I love this product. OK, could you tell us a little bit more about what kind of lobster you're using? Sure. Well, this is a West Australian cold water lobster. Um, and I prefer the cold water lobster only because, obviously, the colder the water, the firmer the meat is. And this is really oh. uh, more like okay. the Native American lobster that most people are used to. Um, but we're going to use our crab cake as uh -huh. a stuffing. And th this recipe feeds four people, so you need two crab cakes that mm -hmm. you can get at the seafood department ready to cook. Um, and each lobster gets stuffed with half of a crab cake. So I've stuffed three. These crab cakes are fabulous, oh, by the way. Really lump crab meat. Right. A lot of meat. Right, Not and very filling. little filling. That's um, right. And the good thing about these lobsters, too, is they've got sort of this open spot. And what better to do? To stuff them right there? Stuff it with a little bit of crab <laughs> okay. meat. Okay, so again, that's half of a crab cake. Okay. And then what we're going to do, I've got a little equal amounts, two tablespoons of butter, unsalted, yeah. and two tablespoons of basting oil, just for a little protection, because this is going to go into a very hot again. oven. <laughs> and what we want to do is we just want to brush the tail. All right. Keep it nice and moist. Keep it nice and moist. Keep it's it actually going to help flavor. with the browning. Oh, great. Because I think a lot of people associate melted butter with mm -hmm. lobster, and I yeah, think if we true. put it on first, we've got enough flavor from the crab cake that we really just need to season. All right. The lobster itself. Now, Beautiful. this Beautiful. also goes into a 450 degree oven. And these are going to take about 12 minutes. OK? That's fast. It is fast. And, and what you wind up with is something absolutely beautiful. I'm checking on the sauce right now as you do that. Perfect, because we're going to doctor that up a little bit, too, when I get back. OK, very good. Right. good. But you can see what we've got here now. It's just this beautiful, you can see how the meat firmed right up. It's nice and white. Oh. It's a little bit brown. You can see how the crab cake crusted over. And one thing I wanted to tell everybody, good. too, what I've done and what I like to do um, when I serve this is I loosen up the tail meat a little bit before I put it in the oven. I get my fingers in there, and I just it lifts right out of the shell, and that makes for easier eating when you're done. Easier on your guests, too. Yeah, it's easy, because it, <laughs> it can be a little bit messy if you're not careful. All right. Um, so what we've done, we've got our vegetables that we roasted earlier, Excellent. okay, and that's the asparagus and mushrooms, but why All don't right. you give those a little bit of help for us? Okay, I'll do that. Actually, I'm going to do that with some Sicilian lemon extra virgin olive oil. We're going to give this just a little, little drizzle, just that little touch of... Lemon sure, and that's is a natural all you pairing need. That's a natural pairing with seafood, and it's wonderful with the vegetables. And then we have some fleur de sel that we're going to sprinkle on top. And this is natural, um, coarse ground sea salt. And uh, the thing about fleur de sel is, unlike regular fine ground salt, it doesn't melt as quickly right. or as easily. So when you bite into it, you get that nice little crunch. I love to use it in salads. That's great. My personal yep. preference. Okay. So I'm just going to pick this one up. All right. We're going to set it right there. Now, now, what we do in the magazine is, is we're suggesting that sort of fun thing for your guests that you serve the bisque in a little sort of dipping bowl oh. on the side. Right. Um, but what we want to do, the lobster bisque has got just that classic lobster flavor. But I love tarragon. Okay. It's just really, really lurkish. You give that a whiff. Oh. It's fresh tarragon. We're going to add love it right it. at the very end. It's really just going to sort of perfume that lobster yeah. bisque. And it, it'll be, the guests will know. As okay. soon as it hits the table, they'll be able Does to smell it. Do we need to st stir Couple it in a long spoons. time, or can we just stir it in right now? No, just stir it in right now. Okay. Tarragon can, even though it's got a pretty powerful flavor, it's a very delicate herb. Yeah. So you don't want to cook Again. it for too long. So you want to add it last minute. 
Really allow it to perfume the dish. And you can just drizzle it right over there. I will do that. Give it a I'm taste. Move this a little bit closer so I don't drizzle it everywhere else. Yeah, How about perfect. right over on the edge, just a little bit no, like looks that. looks great. Looks great. Good enough? Sure, absolutely. All right. Give that a taste. And you can remember, oh, I will. <laughs> both the lobsters and the crab cakes are available ready to cook in our seafood department. So this meal is a snap. What do you think? Mm. I'm serving it for Christmas. It's a great entertaining meal, no question. Enjoy. Delicious.